Updraft Plus is one of the most popular plugins for WordPress, and for good reason. You can back up, restore, or even migrate your website with just a few clicks. You get access to features such as backup scheduling and external cloud storage. And if there's something you need that's not included in the base plugin, you can expand it using add-ons. Of course, a tool is only useful if you know how to use it, and this video will guide you through creating backups, restoring, and migrating your WordPress website using Updraft Plus. All the adjustments for Updraft Plus are in its customized dashboard. To access the dashboard, go to Settings, Updraft Plus Backups, or you can go up to the top and just go to Updraft Plus. Before running Updraft Plus for the first time, I suggest setting up the backup schedule, where the backups will be stored, and which files will be included in the archive. In the Updraft Plus dashboard, select the Settings tab to make your choices. Our first two options are Files Backup Schedule and Database Backup Schedule. You get to choose if you want them to be done manually, every 4 hours, every 8 hours, every 12 hours, daily, and so on, and you can decide how many of these scheduled backups you want to retain. Updraft Plus can save your backups to your own server, various cloud services, or even offline by simply downloading the files. Many of these choices are external premium services. Once you select a service, you'll have to connect to it. You may have to find an access key, API key, authorization, and so on. Some options will require an Updraft Plus add-on. If you don't want a remote storage location, then your files will be stored on your server. One problem with this is if something happens to your website, you may not be able to access the files because they're on the same server. Another problem is that if your site is pretty large, having multiple backups of it can take a lot of space and slow your server down. Out of the box, you only get to choose one storage location. If you want to send your files to more than one location, you'll need a premium add-on. Now let's move on to Include in Files Backup. These settings let you choose which type of files to include in the backup. Choices include plugins, themes, uploads, and other directories within the WP Content folder. You can also tell which individual files to exclude. Now let's move on to database encryption phase. To improve security, you can use Updraft Plus Premium to encrypt your database backup. And also from this page, you can manually decrypt an encrypted database. The next option is email, and the email selection box allows Updraft Plus to send you a basic report in your email. And finally, expert settings. By clicking the button, you'll expand out and see debug mode, split archives, delete local backup, backup directory, use the server's SSL certificates, do not verify SSL certificates, and of course, disable SSL entirely where possible. Now that we're done talking about settings, let's talk about creating backups. You create manual backups in the current status tab. Your options here are backup now, restore, and clone slash migrate. Clicking backup now will start the backup process, whereas clicking restore or clone slash migrate will take you to their respective tabs. So let's talk about backing up to the server. Clicking the Backup Now button offers several choices. Here you can choose to include the database and or files in the backup and decide if the backup is sent to the remote storage. Click Backup Now to start the backup process, and unless you set up a remote location, the backup will be stored on your server. Depending on the size of your website, this can take a while to complete. Whenever it's finished, you can download the archive to store it offline. You can see your available backups in the existing backups tab. From this tab, you can restore, delete, and upload any backup files that you need to restore from. If the backups you're looking for are not here, there's a link where you can rescan your local folder or remote storage for backups. You can download the files from your list of existing backups. Every backup has a series of buttons, so pick the section of the archive you want to download, click the corresponding button, and hit download to your computer. This is a great way to store your files on your own computer or USB drive. Additionally, large files will be broken into smaller files. At any point, you can choose which backups stay on your server. Just press the red delete button to make it go away. Now let's talk about restoring. If you have an issue with your website and you need to restore to one of your backups, it's as easy as clicking the restore button on whichever backup you wish to restore. Additionally, you can choose to restore only part of a backup. So if your plugins are giving you trouble, the themes won't be overwritten. Selecting the restore button opens a pop-up where you can choose which files to restore. Using these options, you can restore just your images or plugins without making changes to your database. The options and files work the same regardless of whether they are stored on your server or external service. Make your selections and click Restore. It will now process the information and give you one more chance to cancel before restoring. Be sure to take the time to make sure you're restoring what you mean to. These files will overwrite the files on your website. If you're sure, click Restore again. It's important to wait for the restore to complete before closing your browser. 
Once the backup is fully restored, you'll get a message that shows the restore was a success. Now let's talk about migrating. In the Updraft Plus settings, you'll see a button that reads clone slash migrate. In general, there are multiple methods for performing a clone or migration. If one method doesn't work for you, then try one of the others. All of the methods are just different ways of getting the files to the new site. You can import them, upload them through the built-in uploader, connect to an offline storage service, or upload via FTP. Probably the easiest way to clone slash migrate a site to a new host or directory is by using the official Migrator plugin. Keep in mind, this is a premium add-on for Updraft Plus and will cost at least $30 depending on the features and level of support you want. If you'd like an in-depth tutorial on how to use the official Migrator plugin, click the link in the description to our blog post. If you're not interested in purchasing the Migrator plugin, no worries. All you have to do is get the files to your new site and then just do a simple restore like I showed earlier. The first step is to go to the dashboard of the site you want to migrate from. Create a backup like we did earlier and then from there just download each backup set. So database, plugins, themes, uploads, and others. Once they're all ready to go, just download each one to your computer. Now on the destination site, go to the existing backups tab and select upload backup files. Drag and drop the files just like any media or find it through your computer's file system. And once it's complete, hit the restore button, make sure everything's selected that you want and hit restore. Another way to do this is if you used external storage on your original site, then connect it on your new site. And then from there, you can just rescan remote storage. And by doing that, you should now see your backup, which means you can click restore like I just did before. Another way to do this is uploading files via FTP. Your hosting provider should have given you an FTP login during setup, and all you have to do is use a client like FileZilla to send the files to wp-content slash updraft. Once you've uploaded the files like I just did, you might need to rescan the local folder for new backup sets. And there we go, there's the file. Now I just need to click restore and finish the migration. As you can see, Updraft Plus is a great tool to backup restore or migrate your website. Performing these tasks can be crucial for keeping your website running. As you saw, it's extremely simple to maintain and restore or even clone slash migrate your entire website. It really doesn't get a whole lot simpler than that. Thanks for watching and if this video helped you in any way, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content.